My name is Natalie Creu. I am a product manager at Google in California. I am 33 years old, and when I was 32, I was diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer. And in my case, it was a gynecologic cancer, so I knew that my ability to have children was going to be impacted. So I went to see about 17 oncologists. I was very shocked. All of these were gynecology oncologists, so they should really know about fertility issues. Only one of them mentioned fertility preservations to me. That was Dr. Amin Hussain at Stanford Cancer Center, and she did everything she could to help me. In Nat's case, we initially attempted to preserve her uterus. However, we decided to go ahead and do a complete hysterectomy on her. The hysterectomy was meant to save my life, but it felt like I was ending a life. Treating cancer was definitely a priority at the time, but the main concern for me was the ability to have children. So Nat came in to see me to discuss fertility preservation techniques, and she went through ovarian stimulation, and we retrieved eggs and fertilized embryos. The process itself is pretty easy. It just requires some injections, and we're trained to do these injections ourselves. They are completely painless. The egg retrieval procedure itself is also a very short procedure. Most of the time when patients come in, they don't have much time, and sometimes patients don't have any time and they're not able to do anything before they need their cancer treatment. Usually, um, we're able to do most fertility preservation techniques in two to three weeks. After my eggs were retrieved, the next step was literally frozen in time. These frozen eggs represent potential life. Oocyte cryopreservation, otherwise known as egg freezing, is a process where we can indefinitely store a woman's eggs in a nitrogen tank so that they may be thawed out and used at a later date. I would have been very depressed, feeling like a mother who just lost her child, if there hadn't been any way for me to preserve my fertility. With this treatment, at least I have hope. This, this really is a tremendous um, breakthrough for patients who are gonna encounter sterilizing therapy, and, and primarily what I'm talking about here are cancer patients. Cancer is not prejudice. It, it affects all people, all genders, at all ages, and, and really is, is something that needs to be considered in terms of um, survivorship. Today, there are options for cancer patients, and it's really not a matter of choosing between their treatment and preserving their fertility. Even though it was far from being a perfect solution, I just felt that I had options. I could still have fertility conversations down the line. I could still think about a family. And I think this is what allowed me to go through surgery and to go through treatment. It gave me a lot of hope. And my hope now, even now that I'm not completely done with treatment, is just because I know that in a tank somewhere, the fertility clinic, they are a few mini-nats that are waiting to be <laughs> defrosted. <laughs>